Small fiber neuropathy is a chronic pain condition that affects a small sensory nerve fibers, that is A delta and C fibers. As a recap, A delta fibers are myelinated and C fibers are non-myelinated. These fibers carry temperature and pain sensation after mechanical or thermal stimulation of the skin. In addition, C fibers are involved in autonomic functions that control various bodily functions like heart rate, sweating and blood pressure. Small fiber neuropathy is diffuse or multifocal. In a diffuse pattern, the nerve fibers are affected uniformly throughout the body. In a multifocal pattern, the nerve fibers are affected in multiple distinct areas rather than uniformly. The patient presents with chronic and superficial pain in distal extremities like hand, legs and feet also including the nails, paresthesia, hypersensitivity to contact, sweating, gastrointestinal disturbances and orthostatic dizziness. Causes of small fiber neuropathy is categorized into five main groups. Metabolic, inflammatory, toxic related, infectious, and genetic. Metabolic causes include diabetes mellitus, obesity, high blood pressure, and dyslipidemia. Inflammatory causes include autoimmune diseases like rheumatoid arthritis. Toxic related causes, including medications, include vincristine, peclitexel, and cisplatin. Infectious causes are HIV, hepatitis C, Lyme disease, etc. Genetic causes include Fabry disease, hereditary sensory and autonomic neuropathies, mutation in SCN9A and SCN10A genes, which affect sodium channels involved in nerve signal transmission. Diagnosis of SFN is done using skin biopsy with intraepidermal nerve fiber density evaluation, which is the gold standard diagnostic test. Reduced nerve fiber density is seen. Autonomic function testing is useful when autonomic symptoms are present. Examples include heart rate variability, tilt table test and test for gastrointestinal motility. Nerve conduction study and electromyography is used to assess large fiber function, typically normal in SFN, but it is used to rule out other types of neuropathy. Quantitative pseudomotor exon reflex test assess autonomic function that is sweat production in response to a mild electrical stimulus. Thermal threshold testing evaluates the ability to sense temperature changes. The management of neuropathic pain has been a challenging task. There is limited evidence on the effectiveness of specific medication for the treatment of pain associated with SFN. The most commonly used medications include antidepressant, anticonvulsant, topical agents and opioids. Physiotherapy can play a significant role in managing symptoms, reducing pain and improving the quality of life for individuals with small fiber neuropathy. Here are several ways physiotherapy can be beneficial. Desensitization techniques to improve sensory function. Balance and coordination training to improve proprioception and prevent fall. Cardiovascular exercise can help regulate heart rate and blood pressure which are often affected in SFN. Use of transcutaneous electrical nerve stimulation and compression bandage is also preferred during the treatment.